everybody, what is up? This is Red Black Productions, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to use transitions in Sony Vegas 13. So, to start off with, we've got two slides right here, as you can see, on a video track. And if we were to play this, you'll see that they transition straight away from one to the other. It's a hard and fast transition. This can be very good for sort of music videos or things like that, if you want a very precise transition. But sometimes you might want a bit more of a smooth transition. And how do we do this? So it's actually very basic to do this. All we got to do is basically just drag it along a little bit and we already have our transition. And as you can see, we have a very smooth transition. One thing you may notice with Sony Vegas is that if you have the quality to full, sometimes transitions can be a little bit laggy as well, as you can see there. So if you ever want to see it before you've rendered it and you want to see how it looks normally, just go to put the, put the quality on preview and you'll see that it transitions much more smoothly like that. So you can see for your project. Now that's the very basics of it. But what are some more advanced things about it? One thing you may realize is that if you drag it more to the left, you'll find that eventually it snaps and you'll see a little pink thing come up. What this is telling you is that it's exactly one second into the transition. So if you want even transitions throughout the whole thing, so if I was to copy this for example and put another one in, I don't really need to tar have too much of a targeted drag to the left because it always snaps into place. So it can always have equal transitions of one second. And this can just be done however many times you want really. So zooming back into here again, you'll see now that we have a one second transition. It's very smooth and it's very easy and it doesn't lag because it's on preview quality. So what are some other things we can do? We can also change how this transitions into this by simply right clicking up here and we have all the options for how it transitions. And this might mean to here that this one equally goes out and this one equally comes in. You can have things where the first one equally much faster goes away, but that one there linearly go continues to go up. So if we were to change it, we're also changing how it transitions. There's a few other things as well. We can make it longer once we've already put the transition in place to longer than a second or less than a second as well. That's pretty basic. And we also got a lot of transitions up here. You'll find them to the top left of the screen and it's in a tab called transitions. Now when you go into these, there's a few of them. You have some more cheesy and corny ones over here. We also have some better ones as well, such as Dissolve. And these can be very useful for using things such as Transition Through Alpha, Color Morph, or even the better ones down here such as Fade Through White, Fade Through Red, and Fade Through Black. To use them is very easy. All you've got to do is simply drag them onto the video, like so. Once you've done this, you can then uh, drag it out so you see it more easily. And what you'll see here is we have a transition that fades through black now. And if we were to just quickly disable this effect for a second, you'll see the difference that it doesn't fade through black if you have it off. So that's what that does. You can also make the transitions custom. Once you've actually added a transition on, you can then change it here on the menu. There's also another way we can do transitions if you actually don't want a transition like this. You can also take it off like this, and then we can just customly go to the top corner of each of these things and put it all the way to one second and put the other one to one second as well for a two second transition. By doing this and by disabling the effect, we've also made our own custom transition without snapping the two onto place. And as you'll see like this, we now have another type of transition. This is another way to make transitions in Sony Vegas. So there are a few different techniques for making transitions in Sony Vegas 13. Hope you found this video useful and thanks for watching.